Good evening. Good evening and welcome very, very much to Conversations, where I'm extremely pleased to welcome to the program today uh, Mr. or Rabbi I. Dumb, Dumb, who is visiting here in New York City from, uh, from London and is the author of a, uh, of a recently newly uh, printed edition, second edition of a book called The Transformation, extremely interesting book. And uh, Rabbi, Mr. Dumb, welcome very, very much to Conversations. Wonder if I might. Your book first came out in 1959, the first edition of it, yes. and uh, it it uh, deals with the establishment and the principles that are involved with, uh, I believe, the Notura Carta, the transformation, the title of the book. To what do you refer when you say the transformation? What are we talking about in the title of the book itself? If you could, because Zionism, which has brought about the existence of the State of Israel is not a Jewish idea. The Jewish people were transformed through Zionism to come to the conclusion that we are going to have a state, an army, an air force, mm -hmm. and we're going to have our own independence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To achieve this, which is based on the idea that the Jewish people are a nation like any other nation, a nation amongst the nations, mm -hmm. or striving to be a nation among the nations, then in itself is a transformation of the real contents of the Jewish people mm -hmm. to make it a secular, a worldly, a non-Jewish people mm -hmm. similar it's possible to, have to an, all the peoples in the world. I'm sorry. It's possible to have a nation without a state? Were the Jewish people through 2,000 years of diaspora, the Jewish people, we could say, in many parts of the world, did they constitute a nation or a Never. people? Or in what way was there a, uh, a, a commonality among the peoples, the Jewish people throughout the long history a of the diaspora? A people who have the holy contents inherited in them, which this holy contents makes them capable of performing the holy commandments of the Torah. Of the Torah. The Torah. The Torah. The Torah was that which held them and, and brought them. Not only the Torah in upkeep, but the preparation and the conditions of the inherited holiness of the Jewish people, which prepares them or conditions them to be able to perform, indeed, mm -hmm. the deeds of the Torah. Uh -huh. The Torah, yeah. So that was what gave unity to the degree that there has been unity. It has been by their adherence to and agreement to the principles contained within the Torah. Within the Torah, and the Talmud, in the end, Dick, in also, mm -hmm. very important, mm -hmm. not only the Torah indeed the deeds of the Torah to upkeep, mm. but the inherited holiness in the Jewish people itself. The inherited holiness in the Jewish, Jewish people itself. I see. Uh -huh. From the time of the covenant uh -huh. with our fathers, Avram, Yitzchak, yeah. and Yaakov, yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes them conditioned, prepared, and capable of performing the godly commandments of the Torah. And if they are of the Jewish tradition, mother-born Jewish tradition, and they're in the Jewish tradition, but are increasingly secular and not observing or not reading Torah, not visiting shul, but are secular people, how do we regard that? This is the case with many people in yes. the modern world. 
as mm. long as they are secular, mm -hmm. as long as they disregard the commandments of the Torah, or not, as long mm -hmm. as they do not perform the Torah, per or better still, perform the Torah, yeah. mm -hmm. as long as then they don't believe in the wholeness of the Torah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they are outcasts, they are renegades, but because they have been born Jewish mm -hmm. from a Jewish mother and Jewish father, mm -hmm. the birthright in itself gives them the possibility of return. In other words, mm -hmm. when they return mm -hmm. and they start being Jews, mm -hmm. they are really Jews and not conversions. Mm -hmm. But at the time when they disregard the Torah mm -hmm. and they disregard the commandments and more so they disregard the holy beliefs in the godly contents of the Jewish people mm -hmm. as long as they are dead mm -hmm. they are outcasts the interpretation of the Torah it is before you said before the camera that there are, is the Torah as uh, holy right writ uh, there is then then Talmudic interpretation of what is meant by that. Yes. There are differences of opinion about what is it, how to interpret it, uh, uh, how it is to be interpreted. There have been uh, different groups within the Judaic tradition throughout the, the millennia, and now we have in the modern experience rabbis, reform, conservative, and so forth. It's an interpretation of uh, those truths, and there's room for legitimate difference between various interpretations of what the Torah says? The but this was particular reference to the establishment the, of the, the state The legitimate of differences mm -hmm. in the interpretations of the Torah are quite a part of the interpretations which you now referred to. Oh, like a academic the discipline. legitimate differences in interpretation it's hard to keep the Torah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and how to embed themselves in keeping the Torah. The interpretations which you've just mentioned, liberal, reform, secular, they are interpretation how not to keep the Torah. Mm. They interpret the Torah in such a way as suits their bodily lusts their bodily inclinations. Intellectual inclinations, perhaps? The intellectual power which they use to justify these inclinations, mm -hmm. which is quite the opposite of the interpretations which you just mentioned, mm -hmm. of the holy giants of the Jewish people, mm -hmm. which have tried to interpret the Torah in the way as it has been handed down to us from Mount Sinai onwards. Mm -hmm. Only the question was, and certain occurrences, how this occurrence will be judged according to the Torah. Mm -hmm. But there was never a question to keep the Torah or to disregard it. No, not to keep it regarded, but interpret it what it means in terms of human action. The interpretations was only needed to certain occurrences in the world, mm -hmm. to certain occurrences by individuals, mm -hmm. how these occurrences should be judged according to the law of Torah, but also, not the Torah itself. No, no, and how uh, an individual could come to the rabbi to get an interpretation, how do I do this that is in keeping with the Torah in terms of something that they would want to do in their lives. They're confused, they look for spiritual guidance from the Torah and interpretation of what the Torah says about human activity in the world. No? Not no? about human activities, no? but I did mention before certain facts from human activity. For instance, the question was if picking up something in the Sabbath, if that is regulated according to the Torah, or this is a new thing 
which has to be judged and explained. Mm. But the Torah itself was never in a questionable manner mm -hmm. to be interpreted. Mm -hmm. Only certain facts from life harm these facts are enlightened by the light of the Torah. Uh -huh. But the interpretations of the reform or secular or whatever you call them, you mm -hmm. just mentioned, mm -hmm. are only meant uh, not to keep the Torah. Uh, those who represent the reform or conservative movements within Judaism, much less secularly inclined Jewish people, would probably feel differently than as you just said. They would well, feel they, that they are moving with a world that does change. The world changes. We must change with the world. There's new technologies. There's new realities. And we must, not, we must be able to change appropriately with the world. Well, and they disregard the holy virtue of the Torah completely. Mm -hmm. Many people do, the secular, they judge modern it times. by human understanding, mm -hmm. which this human understanding is corrupted by the human inclinations and by the human lusts mm -hmm. and by the human wishes. Mm -hmm. When you have mentioned that the world is moving forward, yes. the world is moving forward, the natural world, the secular world is developing. Hmm. The intellectual world. Is new, developing. New, new the intellectual world, which is bound with the natural world, for instance, yeah. medicine, yeah. it's a natural, a human yes. learning, mm -hmm. a human mm -hmm. study, and mm -hmm. this develops according to the human understanding. And relieves a great deal of human suffering. Yeah. But we are not talking at all. Uh -huh about the Torah in that way. No, no. This, the Torah is a godly, unchangeable, mm -hmm. uninterruptible, mm -hmm. which has got nothing to do with the development of the natural world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For instance, take it even in the natural world. You cannot change a stone should not be a stone. You can only say, from this stone, we can make that, we can make buildings, mm. we can make medicines even drawn from stone. But the stone itself is stone. Well, well, we thought this, and then along would have come uh, Professor Einstein with physics and intellectual understanding. Yes, but and see he that within not... the stone is an atom that we didn't know. But we Einstein, thought there was a stone, but there was but an atom, Einstein and it brought did, relativity did not, to the understanding. Did not no? disregard the stone. Mm, no. Einstein only said certain powers which were hidden from the human mind, mm. and he uncovered these That's, hidenings, that hidden soul. So how, do hidden we then, how do we then, then keep true to the ancient uh, truths? Torah truths and so forth, and still at the same time be able to, to, to utilize the new knowledge such as Mr. Einstein brought. How do we deal with this question? How does the world change? How does the world adapt All to the new realities? The human developments mm -hmm. are not able to change one idiom, one word of the Holy Torah. And those people it's divinely mm -hmm. who say that inasmuch as the change of the world has taken place mm -hmm. in natural forms, mm -hmm. in medicine, so they are going to say that the upkeep of the Torah should also be changed. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That is a denial on the divine source of the Torah. Ah. Or the they say that the Torah is a matter of human understanding, and this human understanding mm. should go with the human understanding of physics, of medicine, of development, of changes. Yes, yes. What is, yes, 
Right, they would say but that. But this is against, diametrically opposed, mm -hmm. by the belief of the real religion of the Jewish people. But you can't have the real religion. How does the real religion, the truth of the real religion, as we interpret or have it from the ancient times and through time, when it comes up against the revealed truth of Einstein's relativity, if it does, in its interpretation, how do we reconcile those differences? They, 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 and are not some of the reform or conservative or modern, more secularly oriented Jewish they, rab rabbis they, trying to reconcile those differences? No, how they, do we they, reconcile? they discoveries mm -hmm. of modern science yes which can't be denied the truth do not mm -hmm. contradict mm -hmm. the duties which a Jewish person should perform or can perform mm -hmm. for instance with all the discoveries of Einstein as you just mentioned that does not prevent you of keeping the holy Sabbath mm -hmm. Einstein didn't have discover anything which should stop you of non-smoking in Shabbat, mm. of non-traveling in Shabbat, mm -hmm. of non-eating kosher meals. Mm. He didn't discover that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The name which the what well, they call themselves progressive, Pro progressive, they stick on on themselves very catching labels, <laughs> reform, progressive, liberals, whatever they like, mm -hmm. has got nothing to do with the development of the natural world. Mm -hmm. The development of natural world, for instance, that you can fly with an airplane, yeah. which wasn't 100 years ago. That's right. The development of the world that you can travel by a fast train mm. of 350 kilometers per hour, mm -hmm. The development of, of the world in medicine, which has made tremendous progress mm -hmm. in the last 50 years, that does not prevent you or does not contradict the upkeep of the Jewish religion. Mm -hmm. The new medicine, which is discovered, say, lately, the penicillin and so forth, that does not stop a Jew mm -hmm. being a Jew. Mm -hmm. Only the confusion which the people who like and try to disregard the Torah, they confuse it with the development of the world. Mm -hmm. They say, inasmuch as the world has developed, so they are going to develop their bodily lusts, mm -hmm. their mm -hmm. bodily inclinations. Or intellectual learning. No. no. Uh, bodily, the bodily. intellectual part of it yeah. is only a servant to the inclinations. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They use the human intellectual power for a justification, how to justify, in which way to divert, in which way to confuse their attitude that a Jew should do and can do whatever he likes. Uh, they want to taste the nectar. They want to be free. They want to be liberated within the context well, of... Well, uh, you uh, might call, you you might the call liberation, liberation mm. uh, like uh, the mafia wants to be liberated from every law. Mm. We should stop them to do what they like. Mm. You might call liberation any thieves which they want to steal money but you shouldn't do anything against them. You might stick on the word liberation mm -hmm. to anybody who wishes to do anything. But the, but the process of learning, the increased process of learning, uh, we could talk also about Freud and some of the workings of the human mind and other questions that come into understanding. The increased knowledge of understanding of the world says that we are, we are coming into a greater understanding than we have had in the past. Obviously. So, you are not against that we should adopt no, uh, intellectual new that, ideas and understanding, but that they should be in keeping with these spiritual traditional things that are forever, and, or it must be interpreted. That does forever. not contradict, uh -huh. I repeat, uh -huh. or prevent any Jew of being a real religious Jew. Uh -huh. One idea that would particularly has been introduced in the modern expression has been the idea that it was time for the Jewish people who were in diaspora 
to pick up in the face of pogrom, in the face of uh, anti-Semitism throughout the long history with uh, the Holocaust in the 1930s particularly, but before that, Mr. Herzl and the Zionist movement was, it is now time for the Jewish people who years ago, or thousands of years ago, had been sent out from Israel, it is time for them to ingather and to reestablish as their own state in order to be strong, not weak, to be strong, so that they could protect the Jewish people who the, the Gentile world had set about trying to destroy the Nazi Holocaust and so forth. But the idea of the establishment of the state of Israel is in your idea, in your interpretation, is not in keeping with Torah true interpretation. Or could you address yourself to that vow of the modern expression of Zionism? As I have mentioned before, there is the Torah and the commandments and the rules of the Torah concerning our deeds, what we may do and we shouldn't do. But there is the preparation to keep up these deeds. Is the holiness infused in us by God by the covenant to our forefathers mm -hmm. that we are the people who can perform the holy commandments, having in ourselves the holy inheritance, the holy preparations for doing so. Mm -hmm. This holy contents of the Jewish people is also expressed in the way how we live collectively in our land and how we have been dispersed through the world among all the other peoples in the world. Mm. We have not gone out from the land of Israel because we have been weak militarily mm. or we have been unable to put up a defense against our adversaries. To put you on one quotation, Jeremiah, the prophet said, I will quote this in Hebrew if you don't mind. Please. Lo hemini malchai eretz, ki yuvoi tsar vi oyaiv bishara yirishloi. All the kings of the world did not believe that the enemy will be capable of breaking through the defenses of, of the Jewish people and invade Jerusalem. Because we were militarily and physically quite capable to defend ourselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have been driven out to the godly will in a godly manner. Mm. The Talmud says that the king of Rome, when he came to destroy the Jewish people in Israel, he thrown an arrow to the east and its fallen Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. He's thrown an arrow to the west and it fall in Jerusalem. To the north, to the south, it's fall in Jerusalem. It was a godly will expressed and done in a revelation of a godly man mm -hmm. to drive us out of our land. For the sins that had been created? Committed? For the godly sins, mm -hmm. a punishment. Mm -hmm for the misdeeds from the godly manner mm -hmm. which we have done whilst we have been having our kingdom. Mm -hmm. The ingathering mm -hmm. of the Jews back to our land is not a revolution which the African people have made against their conquerors. 
Oh, I'm mm. like, oh, against mm. the American people have made against England. Yes, no. No. Mm. It's a different thing entirely. Mm. Inasmuch as the godly contents of the Jewish people prepares us, conditions us to do the godly commandments of the Torah, mm -hmm. that godly contents prepares us and conditions us to be indebted back to Israel in a godly, supernatural way. And how is this way? When? How is this uh, way? What? This is bound up with the completion of the destiny of the world. When the destiny of the world all the world, all the world, will be coming to the point when God Almighty wants to reveal his godliness to the people, the Jewish people will be redeemed, redeemed mm -hmm. in a godly fashion, in a godly manner. And that redemption will not be to put us in a state amongst the other states. At war. Not the question exists mm -hmm. if the state of Israel has been built up by natural manner, by revolutions, by terrorism, by bombs, mm -hmm. and the religious Jews want that the same state of Israel should be built up in a godly manner. Mm -hmm. The in gathering and the ultimate solution for the Jewish people is the destiny of the Jewish people. Mm -hmm. And this destiny is not meant to be a land amongst the lands, a people amongst the people, and a power amongst the powers. Until, until the time is made right by the right divine by the Mashiach. appearance oh. of the godly kingdom in the world through his messenger, which is Mashiach. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And at that time the world would be uh, universally a just world. A just and universally elevated, lifted up to a different order. Uh -huh which the human mind can comprehend mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at the present time. The human mind and, uh, can, and, and soul and feel can understand. Yes, can understand. And would understand can. it would be a transcendent or a, a godly intervention, not one of picking up arms and reestablishing it in a political state. When Zionism has succeeded in advising through propaganda and convincing the Jewish people that we should be a land amongst the lands, a people amongst the people, is because this very thing is a denial to the Jewish contents. Mm -hmm. That very thing of having a state, in whichever form it will be, mm -hmm. religious or anti-religious, mm -hmm. is a denial a complete eradication of the belief in the real Jewish destiny, which we are meant for and which will be coming. Only in its time. And if it is before, <coughs> time, it would be a, it would be like not a godly. heresy or a... Uh, a if it will uh, come before the time to human beings, yeah. that would be the transformation of the Jewish people into an earthly, secular people. And this transformation has occurred in the modern experience? It is a care. They have uh -huh. succeeded. From the Zionists have succeeded. Mm -hmm. And they have established this state. Against all seeming odds, because when first they announced their idea, all rabbis, all Jewish people were against were it. Against. Because it is now transformed to where almost all Jewish people are for it, or in favor of it. The mm -hmm. opposition mm -hmm. to Zionism mm -hmm. Mm -hmm is bound up with the adherence 
from the Jewish people, the rabbis, mm -hmm. to the Torah, mm -hmm. and to the holy beliefs. When this adherence was strong, when this conviction was predominant in the Jewish destiny mm -hmm. and the Jewish holiness, obviously, at that time, mm -hmm. It was a strong opposition to Zionism, which is the opposite of the Jewish holiness mm -hmm. and of the Jewish destiny. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But as the bond with religion and belief has been weakened down. As it became more secular, the More world, secular, yeah. so uh -huh. the bond with, with a the human Torah. solution, uh -huh. with an early solution, uh -huh, uh -huh. became stronger. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And seeming more possible, it became more and more like a winner. a winner. It became more and more like a, a option. And also, it became probably, I should think, in the minds of many, an obvious outgrowth of the horror of the Nazi Holocaust. Yes, because uh. they, the Zionists, or now the majority of the Jewish people, uh, yeah. do believe uh. that the Holocaust was also a natural appearance. Uh -huh. A certain wicked man, Hitler. Uh -huh. Is this in Torah? Is this in Talmudic understanding? No, no. no. Uh -huh. That uh -huh. also depends if we believe in revolt and punishment and the hidden ways of the godly lead to the world. Uh -huh. The godly supernatural ways which leads to the completion of the destiny of the world and the Jewish people. Mm. That belief, though unexplainable, belief, a monah it's mm. called mm. in the Hebrew, mm. is not a matter which you can explain. Because explanation you don't need to believe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When you've got a million dollars in the bank, yes. the bank manager does not need to believe your honesty. <laughs> he sees it. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Any conviction which can be explained is not in the category of belief. Uh -huh. Only the Jewish people who have got inherited holiness they can believe, and they do believe, mm -hmm. in things, though unexplainable mm -hmm. and not rational, visible, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and which you cannot comprehend mm -hmm. with the human, bodily, natural, earthly mind. Intellectual mind, yeah. Mm -hmm. The a priori mysterious structure to the structure of universal mind, in a sense, or the, uh, the, the divine pattern, as it were. There's a priori mystery yes. there, right? In your, in your well, mystery is one thing, and the conviction and the belief in the divine lead uh -huh. of the world from on high. Uh -huh. is a different thing. This Mystery can be applicable to certain customs of tribes in Africa and so forth. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. This establishment of the state of Israel, the success, the transformation from uh, uh, an initial rejection both for secular and, uh, and religious re uh, reasons from, to the Zionist call, as it were, and so forth, to one where it's a widespread acceptance of this, how, in, in your estimation, would the spiritual leaders who have, throughout the millennia of Torah-true Judaism, interpreted the Torah, and in your view that this is opposite to what the Torah says should happen, how do the spiritual leaders, not the military, secular leaders, or maybe even agnostic or atheistic leaders of the Jewish community deal with that? They perhaps would just say it's legend or something that they would not do. But the Torah, the, the, study, the, the people who study the Torah, the people who understand through the years the Talmudic interpretation, how do they reconcile themselves in their support of this uh, state and this development with what has traditionally been done uh, and interpreted the Torah to mean that this is something that ought not to be done, that it's erzatz, it's a blasphemy, or perhaps even 
a heresy of the understanding of how the ingatherings to occur. This depends on two methods, strength and weakness. As the bond with a true religious belief got weaker in the present generations, mm -hmm. coupled by the strength of the Zionist achievements, mm -hmm. which is really built on the weakness of the Jewish bond to Torah, inasmuch as they succeeded, so they get it fellow travelers. Mm. One traveled after the other. Mm. One has fallen on the top of other. And the rabbis who agree with Zionism, and some of them are Talmudic scholars, yes, yes, that's what I said. but they are, all of them mm. are small men. Small. All of them. Not are great spiritual life. Not touching mm -hmm. the uh, real contents mm -hmm. of a great man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because you can see that up till, say, 50 years ago, was a near unanimous agreement among the rabbis and the religious Jew to oppose Zionism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The change which has taken place, that now you've got a, a lot of rabbis, or the majority of rabbis, mm. who agree with Zionism, mm. who agree with the Jewish state, who agree with Medina Yisrael. And all the secular authorities uh, and yes, institutions uh, it's and because, and is because they are not as great people as the one who opposed Zionism, mm, well, root mm, and cause. But they would not see that that way, I suppose. They would think that they are the true interpreters. And yeah, well, they would they obviously they, are the great men, yeah. they have to justify themselves, and they have to proud themselves in a manner which should please them and should please the people to whom they speak to. Mm. And they say, we are as great rabbis as the ones which were before us. Uh -huh. We are great people as the great people who were before us. And we are in favor of your and we are in favor state and, and also God met uns. you shouldn't forget mm. that all the people who live in Israel, including the religious people mm -hmm. and the rabbis, mm -hmm. all benefit from the Zionist state. Mm. All are corrupted by that benefit. Benefit materialistically. Materialistically, uh -huh. money-wise. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And that corruption creates the necessity of interpretation. That that you corruption justify. is not a corruption. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It is a just point of view of the Torah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. In as much as the rabbis who live in Israel who have got benefit from the state, mm -hmm. and they going all the way with Zionism, I must interrupt one second. Yeah. We're not talking about religious Zionism or anti-religious Zionism. Mm -hmm. From that point of view which I'm speaking, mm -hmm. it makes no difference whatsoever. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So the rabbis outside Israel, follow the other rabbis, mm -hmm. because they have got benefit from that following. Mm -hmm. What is the benefit? Because the Jewish people in general, which got weakened from the bond of Torah, they all agree. Uh, they got weakened by the bond to Torah. From the bond From the bond. Torah. They were weak uh, politically and economically. Not, politi no, not no, politically. No, I'm sorry. Ahead, they sorry. were weak in their beliefs. Oh, oh. And they got weak in their performance of the Torah. Uh -huh. That's why the Zionist idea, which is applicable 
to the normal human mind is dominating. Mm. And because this domination of the normal mind mm. of the weak Jewish people mm. is universal, mm. so the rabbis had to follow it. Mm -hmm. Even they don't live in Israel, because mm. if they will say against it, the people will be, will be all against them. Uh -huh. So the benefit which they have got... And the stronger they get, the more it goes. It sounds a little bit like cancer, <laughs> a runaway uh, cancer. Contamination. Uh -huh. uh, or con uh, something of that sort of could be yeah. so seen. But what about those who point to the Holocaust? What about those who also point to the sense that the reason the Jewish people were so vulnerable to the atrocities of the of the concentration camp and so forth was because they were politically weak that their traditions kept them politically weak and that the time had come for them to be strong the time had come for them to exert themselves to say never again will we allow ourselves to go passively or peacefully or easily into the uh, mouth of uh, open anti-Semitic persecution and so forth. We are a part of the rich people. We will support ourselves and stand strong. People want to stand strong, not to be weak and vulnerable in a threatening world. Do you, do you understand? So that must appeal very strongly to many, many people, particularly as we come to an age of atomic bombs and so much destruction that there is all around us, that they think we can find security by being strong and security for the Jewish people by being strong and we cannot allow ourselves to be weak and never, never again can we allow this to happen. What do we say to them? Only a blind man can see that the Holocaust was caused to a natural way of thinking. If the reason was that the Jewish people were weak and vulnerable, why hasn't the Holocaust occurred to other peoples of the world which are also weak and vulnerable? And if a person is weak and vulnerable and undefendable, does that really dictate that the other one must kill me? that the other one must kill me with such a hate, with such atrocities, with such determination to eliminate old and young, child mm -hmm. and grown up, babies from their cattle. Mm -hmm. Can a person with a rational mind explain that the Holocaust occurred because only we were weak and vulnerable? Against an evil force. That Why the world is that evil force concentrated and directed only against one people in the world? Because they were there and were vulnerable and did not allow themselves to be strong. For instance, when Hitler did invade Poland, he destroyed all their military might completely. Mm. He could do with the Polish people the very same thing as he has done with the Jewish people. There was no power by the Poles in Poland which should prevent them through power not to do so. When Hitler invaded the Balkan states, they, he was destroying all the military power, which Greece, Yugoslavia, mm. Romania, all the lands which he dominated in Europe, were absolutely <coughs> powerless against the wish of the Nazis. Mm. If they would like to destroy them, there was nothing to prevent it. Why has this urge, this hatred, been concentrated only on one people in the world? I'll ask you why. On the Jews. Why? Why? Ah. Mm. 
because that was a supernatural decree which we cannot understand, mm. which we cannot justify, which we cannot comprehend with our mind, which we cannot see with our human eyes. We can try. Not even try. Mm -hmm. It is above and very divided mm -hmm. from the human powers. What I'm trying yeah. to tell you is mm -hmm. <coughs> that it's impossible, rational, to think that the reason for the Holocaust was weakness of the Jewish people, vulnerability from the Jewish people, and Hitler could do with the Jewish people what he liked. And an incredible locus of evil in the form of Hitler and the people that Why were surrounded. Has, Why was that allowed? Why has that evil yeah. been directed mainly, I would say, uh -huh. against one people in the world? Uh, gypsies and others, but yeah. Uh -huh. And the Jews, he could have as slaves. Uh -huh. They would willingly work 18 hours a day uh -huh. for his ammunition factories. To survive. To survive. Yeah. And again, why, 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 why? The why of yeah. it? Yeah. It is impossible to tell you unless you are a religious Jew who believe that all the ways of God are hidden from us. And they are hidden. Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You can see that they are hidden. Uh -huh. yeah. You can see that there is no rational explanation for all that would happen to us yeah. Yeah. In, the, in this five or six years. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Those people who say that the solution to the Jewish people is armed strength. To make sure it never happens never again. Happen again. Mm. First of all, they're just cheating themselves. Supposingly, when it would be a Jewish state. Mm -hmm. With an army. With yeah. an army, mm -hmm. Hitler could conquer it. Yeah. Mm, well, <laughs> yeah. well, it's difficult now for people, for instance, to conquer Israel militarily. Well, Military, we don't, militarily, no, we don't, Israel is an extremely powerful extremely state. Powerful. They've gotten support from much of well, the world, uh, and they stand not, very we strong. We are not prophets. We are not able to see what are, is going to happen. Mm -hmm. But you must take an example that in 1921 Trotsky with Lenin have invaded Europe. Mm -hmm. It's called the, the communist invasion. Mm -hmm. And the Poles has chased them back to Kiev. And they went back mm -hmm. to Kiev. Mm -hmm. But 40 years later the Red Army has conquered the mighty German army. Mm. They got organized and mm. modernized. Mm -hmm. And it is unthinkable mm. in 1945 or 48 that a Polish little army mm. could chase the Red Army back to Kiev. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The military development of the adversaries of the state of Israel, which I just is in not at all that small and that weak. I don't know. I don't say anything. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to base the survival of the Jewish people mm -hmm. on the Israeli army, I would not agree with you. Uh, uh, base it, uh, that it's a safe haven for them. Yeah, that safe they haven. need not to. And yes. It's, but they, they're not any more safe than they would have been had there been no Absolutely. state of Israel. More dangerous. More dangerous because of that. That's a paradox. Hmm. Hmm. We don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. And me, as a religious Jew, yeah. don't wish to see any Jew killed. Uh -huh or any Jew annihilated. Yeah. But at the same time, I cannot agree, or no one can agree, mm -hmm. that the state of security, which the state of Israel has got now, yeah. is a permanency 
is a permanent feature and the military balance will not be altered. They can't annex uh, a security zone in Lebanon and a security zone in Israel presently, and a security zone present, and, the occupy and, and, and make fortress at, Israel so that they, at, nobody can get, at, and they have atomic bombs. Uh, yes. At, How can anyone at the, attack at them? The, at the yeah. moment yeah. which you speak. And they got unlimited support from the United States, $4 billion a year yes. in support of official aid. And the Jewish people but support. And the I'm not going mm. to prophesize. Mm. And I don't wish any Jews to be killed. I mm. must perform. Of course. But the Arabs can also have atom bombs. Mm. And they can also have nuclear power mm. and rockets. Though they are not supported by the United States. Cannot the Arabs learn to say, yes, we will accept the Jewish people here? put down their threat against Israel, accept the Jewish people there, and allow Israel to live in peace. As it it's is, only a little piece of land. It is, say. as it's And there's a wide, vast Arab homeland where the Palestinians could live. Why can't they just allow the poor persecuted Jewish now, people to live in peace in Israel? As it mm -hmm. seems mm -hmm. now, this is not the case. Mm -hmm. And all the Arab states who spending not three billion dollars a year, but thirty billion dollars a year. On arms? Or on on, only on arms. Mm. Are spending this money on armaments not against France and not against America and not against England or Russia. And we do not know what the future will bring. Mm. I don't wish to see it, and I don't wish any Jews to be killed. Mm. But if you're going to establish security on the might of the state of Israel, which they are now mm -hmm. mighty, mm -hmm. and they are strong, mm -hmm. as you rightly mm -hmm. told me before, mm. that this is not unalterable. This can be altered. And it is being altered all the time. Mm -hmm. It will take the Arabs a little bit of time yet to catch up with the technology mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and with the military experimental mm -hmm. rockets, whatever they call mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. there is not anything visible to stop them of doing so. Mm -hmm. uh, and they will not, in your estimation, be able to just accept, no matter how much strength there is, accept through geopolitical necessity and come to an understanding. Mr. Arafat has said he accepts it. Mr. Arafat accepts two states. And these kind of things that are done, they can't come to be listening to reason when it is backed up with great might and finally see that it's in the Arab's interest to allow Israel to be, well, in your I, mind. I am not a politician. No, sir. And Mm -hmm. I cannot judge on that. I can only judge what it seems now. Mm -hmm. What it seems now, they're not ready for it. Mm -hmm. What do you think ought happen there as you look ahead, or if you look at the area? We only have a few minutes left. As far as the situation in Israel and uh, the relationship to the Arab states, what ought to happen in court, uh, to bring it in accord with your idea of what the Torah and Talmudic teachings would teach us spiritually and otherwise at this very crucial time in terms of it is a very crucial Judaic time. And, and world civilizations evolution. It is a very dangerous time. Yes, sir, and that's the most dangerous part of the world. And this is a very unfortunate thing. The state of Israel in its appearance is a great misfortune for the Jewish people. Mm -hmm. For the solution to it, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Only God knows. Mm. We pray mm. for for mercy. Yeah, for mercy from God. From on high. Uh -huh. But what would you like to see happen, or what would you? What I would like to yeah. see happen, which we can't happen. Well, all right. Well. If the Zionists, for instance, would liquidate their state, uh -huh. it would say to the Arabs, "Look, we don't want to dominate you. We made a mistake. We made a mistake. We mm. only want to live in here. Uh -huh. That would be possible." Uh -huh. that the Arabs should accept. Uh -huh. A but Palestinian state where Jews could live. 
a Palestinian state yeah. that the Jews can live, uh -huh. can exist. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But the structure of that mighty state of Israel. Uh -huh. And the winner going, mentality, yeah, they're the winner, in, in they're the, the, the warrior. And the, in the, in, and the, the, the might uh -huh. and the domination, I don't see that the Arabs can accept that. Uh -huh. But this, I must repeat before we finish, yes, sir. is not my point. Uh -huh. no this point. is not my subject. No. Even when the Arabs from all over the Middle East, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, uh, Syria, mm. and, uh, Jordan, whatever they call the mm. states, would come to Israel and say, we accept you and we like you. God bless mm. you. You have done a great thing for us mm. that you establish your state. May we the shall desert be, bloom. We mm. shall be your yeah. obedient servants. Yes. And we love you immensely yeah. and hotly. Yeah. The opposition from the Jewish religion, from the Jewish belief from the to truth. Zionist state, yeah. will not be diminished one dot, one little bit. Uh. Uh. From, from because the, the state of Israel and the Zionists taught that we are a people like other peoples, mm -hmm. a nation like other nations, mm -hmm. is a transformation, uh -huh. a annihilation mm -hmm. of the holy contents of the Jewish people. Uh -huh. With the success mm -hmm. and non-success doesn't play any importance. Uh -huh. A success, non-success doesn't play any importance. That I, the, I, we, we live in a time that we live in a time now where through the science and the technology and the extension of consciousness has given us atomic bombs has given us hydrogen bombs, has given us bacteriological weapons for us to fight nation against nation to where apparently we reached the point after thousands of years of our development where we could, if we unleashed all the weapons of destruction, destroy all human beings on the planet. Oh, something new, something new. We could not do that. Uh, <laughs> 10 years, 20 years ago, we could not do 200, 2000. We could not do this, right? Do you think it might that we have such technological destruction to destroy ourselves that might also be able to bring the peaceful world that it says Torah says it must be in order for there to be that if we were to find the way past the war and to serve the people of the world appropriately transnationally internationally as one human community we could create conditions that might make it seem to be able to be seen as appropriate feeling more appropriate for the fulfilling of the ancient prophecy well, uh, and the, uh, the professor, time of the appearance of Moshiach. You Mashiach. are asking you, a question concerning be, yeah. all the peoples in the world, yeah. like the Russian and the French and the yes, English. Yes, yeah. and, and an African, Latin America, and, uh, and the just uh, world that would be appropriate yes, for the and time of Moshiach. I am concerned mm. about well. the question concerning the Jewish people. Uh -huh. all right. The Jewish people have got no part in it. Mm. No part in that? No. Unless Moshiach. Mm -hmm. The Jewish people have got only one contents, a godly, divine contents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is expressed in the happenings mm -hmm. which happen to us mm -hmm. and our belief mm -hmm. and in our future mm -hmm. and our ultimate destiny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this will unfold by divine pattern power. as it would happen. Yes. Mm -hmm. The belief that natural power can solve anything for the Jewish mm -hmm. people is a disbelief uh -huh. in the real emuna, uh -huh. in the real belief of the Jewish people. Ah, incredible lesson in terms of the, there's so many, 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 many things I could ask you and I hope that maybe on return visits or seeing you in London or something, right. I mean, we might be able to consult right. more with you to get some after read this chapter book. In, after I've read the book and got myself educated yes. to where I could yes. discuss these things halfway intelligently, I'll be able to do that. But I want to thank you really very, very much for participating in, in conversations. And I would again then remind you in the, in the audience, it's been your pleasure to have the perceptions of, of Rabbi I. Tom, Tom, huh? Dom, 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 who is the author of this, The Transformation, uh, a book talking about these very things we've been talking about. Very, very happy to have been able to bring his perceptions to you. Invite you to tune in again next week. We will be coming back next week on Conversations. Once again, Rabbi, thank you very, very much for giving us your time and spiritual leadership and knowledge. Oh, bless. And also, again, I would again like to welcome you back to New York City. Thank um, you. That's all for this particular segment. We'll be coming back again next week. Uh, so we'd like to at this time say good night and thank you very much for viewing and we will see you next week. Good night.